Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Game Fan. We're going to be back for the next part of the or a new, a new Let's Play here, sorry. This is Half-Life 2. I did say I want to do the full Half-Life gameplay where we did the first game, and this is fan-made game. And now we're just starting Half-Life 2 here. Uh, Half-Life 2, Half-Life Episode 1, and Episode 2. So all three games, and there's also a, another, I don't know if it was a fan game, main game, or what, but this and Portal, it was all part of a the orange box, you know, remember the old orange box for the, from the 360 days? They have it on Steam and it was on sale, that's so why I got that, it was like 5 or 10 dollars. So about that, so we have Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and 2, and then this fan-made game called Lost Coast, and then Portal. So we have five different, like, Half-Life, like, games to play. Yeah, let's start a new one. Also, I actually, my mic is fine now. I don't know what it what was wrong with it uh, last video. I did have to re-record. Or kind of fixed it, fixed the audio a little bit. That's why the vampire video was late. Um, because uh, I can either have the audio be separated for for the gameplay and my mic audio, or have it to where if the game crashes. Or second option is don't have that, but have it to where I can have my game gets my video gets saved even if OBS crashes. So it was either or. I didn't. It was. Crash thing would mess up the audio, so it's just if it crashes, basically now I lose my videos, basically. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until. Well, let's just say your hour has come again. Now, if you're wondering if I'm going to play half of Alex, I'm not, I don't have a VR headset too. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. What? So, wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. See you get on. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. Yeah, I hear also my voice, my shit sounds bad now. I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but I fixed it. I guess it's tough. End of the line. Yep. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the city also thoughtfully it's divided all by left. our benefactors. I've been proud right, to I'm call moving. City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Were you the only ones on that train? Yes, sorry. Had some some more settings as it was hot. As you saw, like was lighting a bit there, so. Yes, I. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and Welcome took my husband to for questioning. They said he'd be on the you next train. Or been I'm not sure to be when that was. To one of our there, there be nice though, letting me wait for him. I thought so much of my administration here. In the Citadel, so thoughtfully provided by I never used to drill. I'm used to shift being sprinted and he being dock. And so, it's, I guess it's hold it, it's not tidal, it's fine. Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome. Don't drink the water. To City 7. Put something in it to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. I, 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 you never see them go, they're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always, they're always departing, but they never arrive. 
And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. I see. They took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Dr. Breen again? You have chosen. Almost up, I'd seen the last of him in City 14. To I wouldn't one of see that too loud. This is the base of operations. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the city so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Okay, guys. Back over the thing. We have enough some more stuff. About that beer I owed you. Hey, Barney. It's Hi. me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, yeah you and me sure. both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Cu cu Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Okay. that. Still a little laggy, I don't know why. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for that concern. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical revision and me. It also requires planning and forethought position to our everything we have.
Up. Okay. Up. You're still. This is how it always Up. starts. First the building, then the whole bull, 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 bull block. And they have no reason to come to our place. But don't worry, they'll find one. Just want to make a picture, I guess. Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking much. You're a cop. Uh, I also detect some unspoken questions. Yeah, down there. Do you want to do they be coming for us next? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breathe again? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns rather than the right to answer. I can't take it anymore. We'll think of something. Let us consider the fact that for the first yeah, time... Yeah, probably. I'm starting to remember. It still lags a bit. Oh, this is all going to end. Probably just the game itself. Attention, resident. Now, I am not yet. Cooperation with your daughter. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like you, uh, they're trying to get you to go a certain direction. Head for the roof. There's no time to move. Excuse me. Citizen noted. Failure to cooperate will result in permanent off world relocation. Get in here, quick! Sorry. That don't make keep moving. I tried another setting to turn it off. I'm setting to fix the lag. Oh. Let's see, I tried to. I turned up. Sync. Oh, I'm getting shot, I know. Can't help. Can't help. Can't Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. We better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Yeah. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. How about you? I've never actually met you. You've a few words, aren't you? Yes. No. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. Yes. <laughs> Look at my dad started on Dr. Breen. He's a giant bag. Through here. Backwards. Oh, screens. I'll try to figure out why the it's lagging. Because clearly it's not because of my computer. It's 
made the game itself because I put everything on the low. Funny you showing up on this day in particular. We've been too. helping people escape the city on foot. Oh. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Yeah, I decided I'm gonna eat. Here, let me buy you a drink. Huh. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything, everything, everything all right, Dr. Klein? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I... I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your lovely. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, hey, is you here? There you are. Up, Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. Sorry. Okay. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry, he's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no, there's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his cities. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Yeah, you have a suit. I need my suit. Here we go. Damn it, get it off me! Lamar! I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, yeah, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah. Longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <laughs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Get into your suit now. Dun, 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 well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove yeah, parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Hey, uh, I want to end it here, I say. Still hear my statement. Well, carpet. come on. Dr. Kleiner's waiting. Alright, and that's where I'm gonna end up there. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. I'll try to keep this video short, um, 20 minutes, but if I need to make them longer then I'm able to. Um uh, yeah. I will try to iron out the weird freezes moments. I think I know why they're happening. 
Uh, I'll go go basically it. Why? Because my system should be able to handle Half Life 2 pretty easily, even on like. I mean, my video settings are not that great. They're all on medium. Uh, this, oh, we'll turn back on though. But I'm gonna put these back up to, hot, to, to what they recommend, and then just figure out. Uh, well, maybe keep the shaders low at least. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.